Okay, application tayo ngayon ng assignment of accounts receivable non notification basis. So, meron tayong sample problem dito. Ang required is prepare the journal entry on the books of the assignor to record the following transactions for the current year. Okay. On May 1, 2019, Emerald Company assigned 800,000 pesos of accounts receivable to a bank in consideration for a loan. Okay. Assuming na in tight ang posi ang cash position ngayon ni Emerald kaya inassign niya yung 800,000 na accounts receivable niya for a consideration for a loan. A cash advance of 80% less service charge of 20,000 must made by the ladder. It was agreed that the interest of 2% per month is to be made and that the assignor continues to make collections. Emerald signed a promissory note for the loan. Okay, sabi dito, um, it was agreed that the interest of 2% per month is to be made and the assignor continues to make collections. Hindi in-specify sa transaction ng May 1 kung ang receivable ba is or ang assignment of accounts receivable ba is on the non-notification basis or on notification basis. Pero malalaman natin dito kung siya ba ay non-notification or notification basis. Sabi dito, assignor continues to make collections. Sino ba si assignor? Okay, recall natin yung illustration. Si assignor, siya yung borrower na entity. Siya rin yung nag-assign ng accounts receivable kay bank. So, yung assigner dito, si entity. And, siya pa rin yung magkokolekta ng accounts receivable na na-assigned. Ibig sabihin lang nun, ang assignment of accounts receivable is on a non-notification basis. Dahil yung mga customers, kay entity pa din, magbabayad ng kanilang accounts receivable. Kahit na naka-assign na siya sa bank or sa finance entity. Okay, lagyan natin ng journal entry yung transaction na nangyari nung May 1, 2019. Okay. Ang accounts receivable assigned is 800,000 pesos. Ayan. Okay. Then, ang sabi, a cash advance of 80% less service charge of 20,000 must made. Ibig sabihin, yung in-assign the entity na 800,000 is hindi niya rin naman yan makukuha ng buo once na in-assign niya yan sa banko. Ang bibigay lang sa kanya ni banko is usually less than the amount ng kanyang accounts receivable na in-assign. So, karamihan dyan ay less than kasi protection din yon ni borrower, ah sorry, protection din yon ng banko as part ng pagpapautang niya kay entity. Siyempre, yung 800,000 na yan is kaya yan in-assign kay banko it, because it is deemed na hindi agad makokolekta yung accounts receivable na na-assign. So, sa protection naman ni banko, syempre hindi 800,000 yung ibibigay niya. Less than sa 800,000 yung ibibigay niya. At kung makolekta man itong 800,000 na to, hindi rin niya makokolekta ng buo dahil possible na merong mga sales returns na mangyayari which is kabawasan sa accounts receivable and yung mga sales discount na ma-avail pa ng customer which is kabawasan din sa 800,000 pesos na na-assign. Kaya ang ibibigay lang ni banko is usually less than the amount ng assigned. So sa case na to, ang cash advance daw or yung amount na ibibigay ng banko kay Emerald is 80% lang ng 800,000 which is 640,000 pesos lang. And meron pang less na service charge. So tatanggalan pa ito ng service charge. So mababawasan pa yung amount na marireceive ni Emerald ng 20,000 pesos. Therefore, ito lang yung amount na marireceive ni Asainor or ni Emerald. Magkano? 620,000 lang. Okay, yung inasay niya, 800,000. Pero yung binigay sa kanya ni Banco, 620,000 lang. Dahil dun sa mga protection, dahil ito sa protection din ni Banco sa pagpapautang niya kay Emerald. Okay, to record yung entry, una, yung accounts receivable assigned muna. So, tatanggalin lang natin to 
sa regular accounts receivable na account. So, debit, accounts receivable, meron lang siyang special note, assigned. 800,000. At hindi na to part ng regular accounts receivable ni entity. Kaya ang credit, yung typical or yung regular na accounts receivable, 800,000. So, parang direct class lang natin, yung accounts receivable from regular, naging assigned, receivable, naging assigned accounts receivable na siya. To record naman yung loan, debit cash, yung na-receive na pera ni Emerald, which is 620,000. Credit, ah sorry, debit service charge. Expense account, 20,000. And credit, notes payable, 640,000 pesos. Okay, inote natin yung terms ng notes payable. Siya ay 2% per month yung interest. Okay, next transaction. May 5, Emerald issued a credit memo to a customer for returned merchandise, 30,000. The account is one of the assigned accounts. So, ibig sabihin, yung sales return na nangyari is pertaining sa accounts na assigned. So, ang entry to record yung sales return Nung May 5, 2019 is debit, sales returns, and allowances. 30,000. Credit accounts receivable, assigned, 30,000. Okay, at, at this point, after ma-record yung sales return, the balance of accounts receivable assigned is magkano na lang? 800 minus yung credit na 30,000 is 770,000 na lang. Kung nabawasan na yung accounts receivable assigned. May 10, collections of 500,000 accounts receivable or 500,000 of the assigned accounts were made less 2% discount. So, nagkaroon ng collection ng assigned accounts. May 10, 2019, debit cash. 500,000 times net of discount, 98%. That is 490,000 pesos. Debit sales discount, 500,000 times 2%, 10,000. Credit accounts receivable assigned. 500,000 pesos. At this point, after ma-record yung collection, the AR assigned account na ay balance na lang 270,000 pesos. 770 minus credit na 500, 270,000 pesos. Next, June 1. Okay, anong entry ng June 1? Emerald remitted the collections to the bank plus 2% interest for one month. Okay. Yung collection niya na 490,000 is ni-remit niya na sa banko. Since na nagkaroon na siya ng collection ng assigned accounts, i-remit niya na ito sa banko. Debit notes payable na 490,000 plus the 2% interest for one month. Interest expense debit. 640,000 yung notes payable times 2% percent per month that is 12,800 credit cash na 502,800 pesos yung collection niya ng May 10 binayad niya na rin kay banko nung June 1 plus the interest for month month so at this point ang balance na lang ng notes payable is 640,000 Minus 490,000 yung debit dito. Ang balance na lang ng notes payable at this point after recording ng payment ay 150,000 na lang. Ang AR assigned is still remaining 270,000 pesos. June 7, okay. 2019. Assigned accounts of 10,000 proved to be worthless. Okay, hindi na makakolekta yung 10,000 dun sa assigned accounts receivable. So, assuming na merong setup or merong record na allowance for bad debts or allowance for doubtful accounts si Emerald, 
to record yung worthless accounts receivable, debit, allowance for doubtful accounts na 10,000 pesos credit accounts receivable assigned na 10,000 pesos. So, at this point, ang balance na lang ng accounts receivable assigned is 270,000 minus 10,000 yung credit is 260,000 pesos na lang. June 20. Collections of 200,000 for the accounts assigned were made. Debit cash 200,000 pesos credit accounts receivable assigned na 200,000 pesos. Okay, after recording tong re collection ng June 20, ang balance na lang ng accounts receivable assigned ay 260 minus yung credit na 200 60,000 pesos na lang. Okay, kung napapansin natin, for every account na accounts receivable assigned na involved sa journal entry natin, is ina-update natin yung balance niya dito. Dapat monitor natin yung balance ng accounts receivable assigned na account. And syempre, yung notes payable din. So, July 1, 2019. Final settlement, settlement was made with the bank. Emerald Company accordingly remitted the total amount due the bank to pay off the loan plus interest charge. Ibig sabihin lang noong July 1, binayaran na ni Emerald yung 150,000 na utang niya sa banko. July 1, debit notes payable. 150,000. Dahil yun na lang yung balance ng notes payable niya. Debit interest expense. At what amount? 150,000 which is yung balance ng utang niya na lang kay banko. Times 2%, so that is 3,000 pesos. Credit cash, 153,000 pesos. At this point, ang notes payable na ni entity ay zero. So, wala na siyang utang kay banko. Since na wala na siyang utang kay banko, kailangan niya na rin ibalik sa regular accounts receivable yung accounts receivable assigned. So, debit, accounts receivable, 60,000 yung natitira, Credit, accounts receivable assigned, 60,000 pesos. Wala na kasing loan, so wala na rin purpose nung, wala na rin naka-assign na accounts receivable. So, kailangan na siyang ibalik sa regular na accounts receivable account. And yung AR assigned is 60,000 na lang. So, yun na lang din yung ibabalik sa regular accounts receivable.